Princess Peach is finally the star of her own game. She is taking center stage in Princess Peach Showtime, and that was way too many theater puns for one introduction. I know about Super Princess Peach on the DS, but that was just, it's just a 2D platformer with some unique mechanics, isn't it? It's just like any other Mario game. This game, Princess Peach Showtime, is unique. It has its own concept, its own feel, its own sense of self, you know? But what is the game? That's actually a pretty good question because I was confused right up until playing it. Even playing the demo didn't really clear anything up for me. Like, what style of game is this? That's actually a pretty difficult question to answer, but I will be doing my best. The simple answer is everything and nothing. So as I'm sure you've seen, Princess Peach dons many outfits in this game, and each one is kind of its own thing. Depending on what outfit you're wearing, the gameplay changes entirely. And this right here is probably my favorite thing about this game. It is just so damn creative. Not sticking to any one genre of video game, just allows you to do so many things, and that is very obvious straight from the get-go here. You've got hack and slash levels. You've got auto run levels. You've got music levels. You've got action adventure levels. You've got mini game Mario Party-esque levels. Honestly, there is so, so much here and it is absolutely fantastic. Now having all of these different styles of gameplay and each level changing it up so dramatically means that there is something here for everyone. No matter what type of games you're into, I'm sure you're gonna find at least one level where you're like, yeah, that was awesome. But on the flip side to that, it also means that you're probably not going to enjoy every level, unfortunately. There was one that was almost Detective Pikachu and like I, I got PTSD from that game being so bad. So I was like, I don't like that one. On the other hand though, I'm a big fan of the auto runner Cowgirl Princess Peach levels. Very cool. Love me the hack and slash stealth elements in the ninja one. That is awesome too. But unfortunately, yeah, you're probably going to find some levels here where you're like, uh, I just want to get past this. And that's okay, actually, because most of the levels are pretty short and sweet. So it is easy to just almost speed run your way through it and just get to the end, get onto the next one, onto something you enjoy a little bit more. Now, I just want to stop here for a second and give a huge shout out to the soundtrack of this game. So as you can imagine, every time Peach dons a different outfit, the whole vibe of the stage changes. Obviously, Cowgirl Peach, all of the backdrops are all Western themed, right? Mermaid, underwater, so on and so forth. But the music really, really sets the tone for each level. And it's not just like, oh yeah, this reminds me of Cowgirls. Each song actually goes so hard like the soundtrack has no right to be as good as it is it perfectly encapsulates what every level is about while also just being fire so props to whoever produced the music on this because it is incredibly good and it is honestly not going to get enough rapport in our regular media outlets princess peach showtime also has a lot of replayability so yes, you can get to the end of the stage relatively fast if you would like to, but there is a lot of things to collect along the way. And the fact that you can't actually go back in a level, it's kind of annoying. I don't really like it, but I get it for replayability. If you miss a star, you just have to do the whole level all over again. And that's fine. An eight hour game might turn into 16 for those people who really want to collect everything there is on offer here. Unfortunately though, Princess Peach Showtime does not come without its problems. 
there are quite a few and honestly they can all be traced back to this game feels very bare bones i feel like nintendo hasn't wanted to take a big risk with a new ip and it is unfortunately painfully obvious which honestly is a little bit confusing because princess peach is like super well known nintendo's marketing her to be this like badass chick she's a badass in the movie everyone loved her from the movie i don't know but it is what it is probably my biggest gripe with this bare bones is that each different outfit that peach has only has one action so you press a to jump and b to perform that action and some levels don't even have jump so you basically stuck between two buttons and like it's okay but i had someone liken it to balan wonderworld and i was like oh i actually don't really disagree with them on that don't get me wrong it is way better than that game but every suit only having one action one button press kind of feels a little bit similar unfortunately i hate to compare it to ballad but i just i just had to do it it would have been really nice if they just fleshed things out a little more even adding a parry button or something like that i feel would have added not only a bit more difficulty to the game but just made it more interesting and more fun also the fact that it is 2d with this fixed camera angle going from left to right that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I love me 2D Mario's. But for something like this, something where you do have those action adventure levels, that hack and slash gameplay, I just really would have liked to have seen like an over the shoulder from behind kind of view. I don't mean anything as like hectic as like Horizon Forbidden West or anything like that. I just wanted to take more control of Peach. Do you know what I mean? And it would have been nice to just just be able to see the enemies you're cutting down and it, I don't know, I just feel like it would have made the experience a little better. I understand it's not that type of game, but maybe in the future if this IP does well, we could see something like that in its next installment. And that's the thing, if this game does do well, which I work at GameStop by the way, so judging on just my store alone, it's doing ridiculously well, then I don't see why Nintendo won't do a sequel for this. The fact that Princess Peach is constantly dressed up in a new outfit means that you just have to get someone really creative on this and the options are literally limitless. You could have Dragon Peach, you could have Crocodile Peach, hell you could have a Kirby Peach and float around. Oh, isn't that a fantastic idea, right? You could do anything with this game. But I definitely want to see a sequel of some kind and just take this idea and expand upon it. Give us more button actions for each of the characters. Maybe go 3D. Just something a little more fleshed out and I think this could really, really hit a home run here. Maybe you'd like to see a sequel for this video and you could tap that subscribe button down there. Maybe you could give the video a like while you're at it as well. That would be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Nintendo likely has a winning franchise on at hand with <laughs> Princess Peach. Who knew? So I'm really excited for what the future has in store for this. It's almost like when your favorite band reunites after 10 years of not existing, right? That first album, that comeback album, it's okay. But what you're really excited for is the one after that, when they know what they're doing, They've got the vibe back. Everyone's been jamming for a few years again. That's when they're putting out their best music. And I feel like we're at the comeback album here with Showtime. So I'm excited for what's next. Princess Peach Showtime is a really good game. It is not a great game. Don't get me wrong. Has, has a few issues. But it is just a really good fun time. And honestly, it's kind of perfect for the TikTok generation. People who like those short, sharp bursts of satisfaction. Ooh, I'm at a level, what's next? Oh, something completely different. It actually screams TikTok generation, doesn't it? But that is my personal opinions on Princess Peach Showtime. I'm having a great time with it. Haven't quite finished it yet, but I am definitely getting there. 
I feel like it is a solid release from Nintendo and honestly probably one of its biggest of this year. But that's enough about me and my thoughts. I want to know your thoughts. Are you interested in this? Do you just ride this off as some girly kids game and are not picking it up? Honestly, you're missing out because I think you might like it. Let me know in the comments below. I'm Tom. Thank you so much for watching and I will see all of you lovely people in the next one. Mwah.